And welcome to a very special backyard barbecue edition of Brain Damage Barbecue. I'm your host, Joel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And now we're going to get started. What I've done today is set up my backyard barbecue area. We got our double queue over there. This one is this one uses charcoal. This one uses gas. We got flavor, we got efficiency. But we're going to do a taste test on that later on. We'll do another shoot on that later. But it's going to be really cool. We got our Weber going, which was not sponsored by Weber, but it's like the king of crew, king of cues. We have a charge roller here. So when we want something really hot and fast and quick, but that thing is awesome. Not sponsored by them either. And of course, you want to remember the Frankie Q, the greatest barbecue ever made. And so now we're going to get to our cook. We got my lemonade so we can drink. Nothing hard about the lemonade, just regular country time. Not sponsored by them anyway either. So we're going to get to our cook. What I've done is I've made four 275 gram burgers. They were made out of 75 25 ground chuck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw four slices of cheddar on there. I see they're there already, but sort of a setup. And also, as another special little treat, I'm going to be grilling some vegetables. All they say is just peppers all chopped up with some Weber vegetable spice sprinkled on them. I'm going to throw them in the middle of the queue. What was different about your cold setup? Uh, nothing really. It's just. And then, then I just have two baskets in there. I was going to do a low and slow cook today, but it's a barbecue. You can't low and slow on barbecue. Yeah, okay. So. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It's still charcoal. It's still the Kingsford charcoal I use. Not sponsored by Kingsford, but that's the only charcoal I use for nice barbecue. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. But uh, you know, we're also doing some maple Italian sausages that I got from the Glebe Meat Market, where I also got this 75 25 ground chuck that we're going to be throwing on the grill in just a minute. And this is obviously. A little Brutus burger, made for the dog, and we should get Brutus out here. Because he should be part of the street always now. Oh, Brutus, come. Everybody, this is Brutus the dog. He's the most important animal in this house. He's the only animal in this house, but still the most important animal here. He's an awesome dog. He's got his own oh, yeah. burger. He usually has a bigger burger than that, but Four 275 gram burgers used up two and a half pounds pretty quick. So uh, we got really? that going. Okay, vegetables are on. We're gonna take our beautiful sausages here. And we're gonna go with this side. Like that. Like that. Now the burgers are gonna be a little bit of a bigger punch. Careful, those are hot, obviously. So. 275 gram burgers, but what we're going to do, because these are 75, 25 burgers, so there's a lot of fat content in that, and burgers, fat's your friend, so that's what you want. So you make sure you poke a little hole in the center so the burger doesn't shrivel up on it. I don't know how or why it does that, but I've learned that from a lot of cooks. Okay, I'll show that in a second. It. So Here, okay, let me come right in. You know, a little dimple in the, mi in the middle makes a difference. You it it, it a seems wall, to, yeah. It does. Yeah. So, you can still move that back a bit. One more that we slap on. And like I said, burgers are roughly five and a half minutes aside, but this isn't the gas grill or a really flaming hot grill right now, so we're going to put six or so aside and we'll flip the sausages as well. But we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Until then, keep it beefy. I'm your host, Joel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, we forgot. I forgot to sprinkle on the Weber Gourmet Burger spices on this. It's, not, it's never too late. I know if you're looking, you're not cooking, but what are you going to do when you live in a shoe, right? It's never too late. A little bit on that side. Oh, yeah. Give some for the Burgers Burger, too. I know if you're looking, you're not cooking, but the burgers, once they're cooking a little bit, you want to take them and turn them a little bit so you get that crisscross char grill in there. Like 90 degrees, yeah. right? 40, 45, 90 degrees, just as long as there's a little bit of a turn. Because it'll still make the crisscross, you know? Okay, gotcha. Whatever design you want, kind of thing. And that, and see, I can flip the veggies over a little bit, maybe even turn them. Sausages are looking good. Flip them. Flip, oh, look at how nice that's. Turn oh, yeah. Yeah, really well, Brutus' burger. Give it a turn. And then we put the top back on. 
and wait until the timer goes off. Then the timer goes off, then we flip everything again. Keep it beefy, folks. Okay, we're flipping the burgers. Just keep it on that camera. You don't, don't get this one. It doesn't matter. You don't, you don't need the other one, right? Because it's going to be too quick. You can see it on here anyway. So. We've got five minutes now. We're flipping the burgers. We're doing five minutes aside side because that's what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you folks see those? Look at the smoke coming up. Yumminess. Sorry if I'm blocking the shot. I can't even flip. burgers look stupendous. Start the timer. Another five minutes on that side. The sausages, we'll give them a little poke. Poke. There we go. Ouch. Come on, sausage. Vegetables. Over so they cook nice and evenly through. The burgers, we're going to do it on this side now too. The Weber gourmet burger barbecue stuff, but we're not going to put too much on because we put a bunch on the other side. Oh, it smells so nice. In four minutes and 20 seconds, it should all be done. We're going to move this sausage though. Oh, there's more heat. It's not cooking the other ones. We're going to make sure the sausages are cooked. Just for mom. Can't give mom raw food. That's a probably even more burger. Over here. Like that. There we go. That yeah, looks more like a barbecue. <laughs> These are all spread out. Okay, well, Bruce is burnt. There we go. I say it's going to be cooked up more on one side than the other, but he won't care. There we go. Hey folks, we're back. We got another minute and 20 left, so we're gonna throw the cheese on. These burgers and sauces are looking so good. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't pull out a piece of cheese for the Brutus burger, but I'm gonna have to go in and get a piece of cheese. But you've seen the cheese put on, now we'll put the top back on, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. It's gonna be delicious, folks. Keep it beefy. Yep. Okay, folks, look at this. The burgers are done. The sausages are done. The vegetables are out. Very hot. Grill. You go against the grill, it's like going against the grain. You don't go against the grain. Two beautiful burgers. Through, oh, look at that. See the vegetable? Took a chunk of cheese. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. And come on, those sausages. One more. Look at the precision of that sausage drop. <laughs> Dale would love it. <laughs> yeah, really, eh? And Bruce's burger, even though a whole piece of cheese would have just surrounded that burger, I, I cut it into four pieces and put it on top so he gets a full piece of cheese too. Because why, why should he get anything less than we do? So and I believe the vegetables are done too, so we're going to carry that in like this. And that's it for our show tonight, folks. I hope you enjoyed our 275 gram burgers and some nice maple sausage cook. And some nice grilled vegetables in this amazing bag. I can't remember where I got this bag, but it does vegetables great. It doesn't burn, doesn't really contain anything you want. You want to put mushrooms and other stuff in there. They work great. I recommend them highly. But thanks very much for tuning into this episode of the Backyard Barbecue for Brain Damage Barbecue. Keep it beefy.